Hello, Channel 28 family. My name is Yolanda Muhammad, and welcome to Real Talk with Yolanda. I'm a community act ad advocate most of the time for those that have Medicare, whether you're a senior or if you're those that have Medicare and you're under the age of 65. Now, this is our debut show, so I'm very glad to be here and very glad to be here with my co-host, Jaquem Muhammad. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing, Yolanda Muhammad? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing very well today. Doing very well today. We are so glad to be here today to bring you information on health, wealth, and politics. That is great. So we have a, a few things that we'd like to talk with you about today and to go over and maybe bring you up to date on a few of the things that we like to talk about, which are one of them of my favorite is Medicare. So we're going to jump right into it. Okay, how's that, Mr. Muhammad? Well, I think that was great, Mrs. Muhammad. <laughs> I think uh, the biggest thing about Medicare that we want to get out to the people, uh, you have some great information, and as a health care advocate, mm -hmm. I know that you're ready to give it to them, so we might as well give it to them. Okay, well, we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to jump right into giving our Medicare information, and one of the new things that are happening with Medicare is our new Medicare card. The new Medicare card will be coming out. There'll be some changes. Medicare will no longer have your Social Security number on the card. They're going to have a particular ID number just for the, just for the Medicare cards. There are going to be some changes. And I know everyone is waiting to find out when will those cards come out. So I have some information. If you haven't already received them, the, those that are new to Medicare will start receiving those cards right away. Uh, they'll start in April. And those of us in Delaware, which is great, is that Delaware will start receiving their cards beginning May. All so right. May 2018, the new cards are coming to Delaware. We're one of the first states to finally get it, so we're first at something. Yes. We're not <laughs> only the first state, but we are first at something. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So with those new cards, they have to make sure that those cards get out uh, before April of 2019. And what happens in April 2019, providers, everyone that, that uses your Medicare information will have to make sure to have those new ID numbers in their systems so that they can bill correctly or there will be some issues on getting payment. So that's very important for them to understand. It's very important for you when you do receive your new card to take it to that, that provider. If, it's, if you don't see your provider, your, like your primary care physician, but once per year, you need to make sure that you get that card, get a copy of that card over to them so that they can bill properly. And I'm quite sure they will be asking you come any time uh, before the end of the year if you have received your new card yet. So please remember to do that and take your cards with you, be it your Medicare card, your new Medicare card, and your secondary insurance information, be it Medicare and Medicaid or a supplemental plan or anything from an employer plan. So if those things will be coming up as we all go out and our organizations go out and provide this new information, those things will be very important for them to get across to you. You know, I, the one thing about uh, Medicare and Medicaid, well, mostly Medicare, uh, I know I ride the bus a lot. You, mm -hmm. Everybody knows I'm on the DART bus as well. Yes. Uh, shout out to all the good DART bus drivers out there. There are a lot of great <laughs> DART bus drivers. Shout out to Dave, man, He's a real good guy. Um, but I've seen people show their Medicare card on the uh, to the buses, whether it be Scepter or to, for a half fare or a reduced fare. And I always thought, why are you showing a card, unfortunately, why are you showing a card that had your Social Security number on it? In this day and age of fraud and, and uh, identity theft, I'm glad the government finally said they're going to take your social security number off those Medicare cards. Yes, which is great. There were all kinds of ways that people wanted to get around it by just blacking out your first uh, numbers and leaving the last four numbers, all kinds of ways of getting around it just so no one has your uh, all of your information to protect your identity. But with these new cards and new numbers coming out, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to protect your identity for us, for the taxpayer. Well, I, you know, uh, on that same token, on that same thought, I wanted to give information about the new 911 that we have in Newcastle County. This is in that same vein. Uh, they rolled it out uh, about a month ago, and it wasn't rolled out totally right. Mm -hmm. But what they've given now, now it's 
fully rolled out the new 911 where you can text. And texting is very important because there's a lot of people and a lot of instances where you may need help and you may ne not ne need to call 911 or, or can't call. Okay. One of the things is for individuals who are deaf and hard of hearing or have speech dis disabilities, for someone who is in a situation where they're not safe to place a voice call, that is very important. And of course, the last one, a medical emergency that renders a person incapable of speaking. So being able to text in Newcastle County, 911 is now rolled out, and I'm glad they have it. That is definitely a public health issue. Yes. Um, but that doesn't take the place of someone being able to call 911. That is correct. So please, if you are capable of calling 911 yourself, please do so because that will alleviate backups and delays for those that are impaired and cannot text 911. And the other thing too, if you're going to use the 911 system at the texting, uh, do not put emojis on it. Do not put <laughs> anything like happy face or sad face and think that the police are going to please try to text the whole thing out to them so they think can get that help to you right away. No emojis. No, emo no <laughs> emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're getting a whole bunch of new emojis all the time. Right. Uh, oh no emojis on that. No right. emojis. So one other thing I wanted to talk about is one thing that we will be doing on a constant basis is giving shout outs and we're going to give information on new programs, things like that, that are coming about. And I work very closely with the Wilmington Senior Center. So the Wilmington Senior Center will be having their upcoming Run for the Ages event. And that event will be taking place on Saturday, May 5th, 2018. So we know it's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. So before you go <laughs> and get your little happiness on, you can come down and, uh, and take part in the Wilmington Senior Center's Run for the Ages event. It's a 5K run or walk, and it's also a one-mile senior stroll. So I typically do take part in the one-mile senior stroll. I do the run. <laughs> <laughs> and what we would like for people to do is to come in and register. You can register through Races, races to Run uh, for that program as well. You can take a, you can get sponsors for yourself as well with that program. And you can get sponsors to sponsor you for your my, either your mile or for the walk, things like that. Now, I just wanted to say, for my senior stroll. Yes, ma'am. I plan on having a mascot <laughs> to lead us off. We're going to have a little music to walk with. It's only a mile. Doesn't matter how, how fast you run or how fast you roll. So if I have any of my seniors that are out there with your electric chairs, and you want to leave us in the dust <laughs> and come out with the senior stroll, you are welcome. Come on out. Uh, please contact the Wilmington Senior Center about registering as well for that. The races to run will also, if you register prior to the race, will give you a $5 discount for registering early. And the last thing I want to talk about with that program is, not only is it on May 5th, at 8.30 a.m. is the registration. Got it. 9 a.m. the walk will start or the run will start. There are some fabulous prizes that, are, that come with this program, okay? What are the prizes? <laughs> well, but wait, there's but, more. But wait, there's, there's more. more. <laughs> <laughs> raffle prizes. These are great. There are some raffle prizes, whether or not that you're uh, participating in the race or not. You can come down. It'll be by the Ale House on Washington Street. You can come through there and actually uh, get involved in the raffles for prizes such as a one-year adult membership to the YMCA. Oh, that's great. Now, there's also a Bose speaker that you okay. can use. Now, nice you can bring that next to the following year to the, uh, to the walk so we can use your speaker in order to participate in for, the, for the senior stroll. You can lead us off. There you go. Uh, there's an Apple Watch. All right. I like Apple. Somebody donated an right uh, Apple Watch. All right. And this is a good one. What's this that? is not for me, but this is a good one. A six month wine club membership. Oh, okay. Wine six club. Six months worth of wine. So hold on, hold on. 
They're not making anybody no alcoholic, are they? No. no but six months wine. Six I months. mean, forget about it. You can it's do a lot bad. of parties. You can do a lot of parties with six months worth of wine. Six months of wine, you're gonna be the life of the party exactly. on your block. Exactly. <laughs> so you could do six months worth of wine. Since our winter is going a little bit long, <laughs> right? You'll be able to get through the, the winter with the wine. Okay. Now, that's all just raffle prizes. That's not even the prizes for the runners. So we're still looking for at least 200 participants, 200 runners at least for this, for this race. And you can get things such as, uh, oh, they've got all kinds of gift cards here. Iron Hill Brewery, they've got seven Apple gift cards. Wow, Apple. seven. Hold on, but hold on, Iron Hill Brewery, hold on, we're giving out wine and we, and we got the brewery. brewery. Forgot about it, right? this is the race to come right. to. And then you got a gift card for two dinner entrees to the BBC Tavern and Grill. Okay. Uh, we could get three gift cards we got for Curry, Curry Salon. So you can get your due done before you go get your wine basket. Uh, we got a $50 Buckley's gift card coming. We've got Applebee's, we've got Barnes and Nobles. Oh my goodness, they've got stuff coming in all the time. So I can't even go through the whole list of things that they have for this for this uh, for this race. Well, you should tell but them again what what date that race yes, is. Yes, that again. race is going to take place on Saturday, May fifth, two thousand and eighteen. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> uh, the race <laughs> the registration will start at eight thirty a.m. and we will be kicking off after that at nine. So we're not going to have you out all day. We know you runners that love to run and get everything done in there. Uh, you'll be have plenty of time to come back and rest up for our after party. So there's a post race event at the Ale House. We'll have that. And if you're not participating in the race and you just still want to join them with the Ale House, you're welcome to it. That's only five dollars. So five dollars they can go to the Ale House, enjoy some post race activity, as well as act like they were already running and doing the one the one mile stroll. All right, I love that. I love that. I, I will, you know, just to piggyback on that, uh, Wilmington Senior Center, again, another senior center in our state that does fantastic work, man. I, I really like what Wilmington Senior Center has been doing and yes. some of the programs they've been offering yes. over there. Well, I think at this time I can give out some shout outs. Now, this is my big shout out. Uh, let me give a big shout out to Josie Roy. I know you're watching. That's my sister from another mister. Josie, what's up? Of course, Renee Dickerson. Carmelo Crawford, Sharai Matthews, and if I don't say this guy's name, he's going to get on me. Mitchell Coleman with Yo Hood. I watch him on Facebook all the time, and Mitchell, you, you be having some crazy programs, but they are informative. I love it. My man Ed Harrison and his staff over at Prime Styles and Cuts, and of course, these ladies by, uh, are Top, top notch. They're top notch. Just like Josie and Carmelo and Renee. Uh, Helen Carson, Faith Mar Parker Morris, uh, Ruth Baker, Gwen Lane, Nancy Willing, and my man, Len Church. Big thumbs up to you. Iris Donato, Herman Holloway Jr. That's my man I like to talk to. I like to talk to Herman. Princess Bay, Ricky Williams, Ronald Handy, and of course, from my neighborhood in Dunleith, my man, Robert Watson Sr. Now, I just want to finish this up with another event that's going to come up, and I think we got a couple of minutes before we go to the break. I got a big shout out to CBTU. Big shout out to Mel Phillips and, and Ricky Williams Sr. over there. Yeah, and of course, all the ladies, Faith, Yvonne, all of them, Peaches. Peaches, peaches I got to say Peaches. So May 19th, 2018, they're having, at 6 o'clock, they're having the CBTU Solidarity Ball. So that's going to be in Delaware right here. So if you want more information about it, you can contact Mel Phillips at 302-545-0281. That's Mel Phillips, 302-545-0281. So that's program, uh, the CBTU Ball. Solidarity, Solidarity Ball. Ball mm -hmm. For all of our retirees, our union members, come out. Show your solidarity for your be union strong. Yeah. Okay. Unions matter. Union strong. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a little short break, and we're going to come back with another segment of all kinds of stuff to bring to you. All right. So we thank you. See you soon. Hi, my name is Jaquem Muhammad, and today we have a choice. 
Either we can stay on the same path that has plagued our communities for years, or we can chart a new path that uplifts everyone. On September 6, 2018, vote for the people's choice. Jaquim Mohammed, State Representative, 16th District. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jaquim Mohammed, and today we have a choice. Either we can stay on the same path that has plagued our communities for years, or we can chart a new path that uplifts everyone. On September 6, 2018, vote for the people's choice. Jaquim Mohammed, State Representative, 16th District. Thank you. Okay, we are back. We needed to take a little stretch for a quick second. With our debut show and everything, we just needed to make sure we're running things a little correctly here, you know, get the right things going, right things happening, and make sure we bring back the right information to you. So now we're going to start going into a little bit of our political side, and I'm going to put my co-host more on the spot because he's not only just my co-host. He's my husband. <laughs> Love him to pieces. <laughs> But he's also running for the 16th Representative District's state representative. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think your audience has seen it. I think the audience has seen the, uh, our little promo for 30 seconds, but we've got a lot more. We have just started begun be, uh, our fight. Uh, I really want to just talk about real quick uh, the Route 9 corridor, and you hear it every week with Josie and other members of the Route 9 corridor and we just want to tell you that we have big plans for the Route 9 corridor that may not be with the plans for the uh, powers to be and our big plans is for our communities to be better we want betterment in, on the Route 9 corridor all the way down from uh, South Bridge all the way down to Jefferson Farm into New Newcastle and one of the things we want better is for more information. We want to give you the most information you have for your county, for government, so that you can have that. In other words, we want everybody to teach us all. Teach us all what's going on. And what we have next is on May 3rd, we have a community town hall at Minkwoodale Fire Hall. That's at 129 East Hazeldale Avenue. Now, if you're a member of Unit 1 Delaware, if you're one of those members of our community action group, Unit 1 Delaware, then you know we have to be there for May 3rd, 2018 at the Minkwadel Fire Hall. They're talking about fiscal year 2019. Newcastle County Exec will be there, and I guess some of the staff will be there, and they'll be talking about that. And uh, we really need to get it flushed out because there was a 15% proposed 15 percent increase we really want to get all those details flushed out so if you're one of the members of unit one delaware we want you to be there and again if you're not a member of unit one delaware which is our community action group just join us on facebook look for unit one delaware just give us a shout out there and we'll bring you involved in there could you tell them a little bit more about unit one delaware well to give them more information sure. about what what it encompasses it's not just a it's not a 501 c3 it's for all of us as well to get involved so that's if you can well, give some background unit unit one delaware we, we were talking one night and we found out yeah there you go and we found out that we needed just a little bit more of community action in our communities whether your community is uh, claimant or route nine corridor you need a lot more information. There's a lot of things happening and behind closed doors that we don't know about, whether it be environmental, Route 9, we deal with a lot of environmental issues, as well as other neighborhoods, um, whether it be environmental, taxation, without representation, uh, getting information about Del Dot, getting information about. The, so Unit 1 spreads that information out. So we invite people to take photographs. If you have a problem in your neighborhood, take a photograph, load it up into Facebook and put it on Unit 1 Delaware so that we can actually help you get to the right people who have getting it fixed. 
We've had some people load up some stuff about uh, cars parking on the uh, sidewalk, which is a big thing, that these cars are parking on the sidewalk and they're staying there for months' ends. Like, they, they park the car there and the car may not be running and the car stays there. Blocks people's access so that people who have wheelchairs have to go out into the street in order to go down mm -hmm. the block, which is not cool. Right. That's not good. So if you have a problem and you, you can't get any solution or you, you can't get to your congressman or councilman or whatever, put, the, put it on Unit 1 Delaware. Take a picture, put it on there. We'll see what we can do to get it. It's not a 501c. We ain't asking for any money. What we're doing is a public service yes. that should be done anyway, but we're doing that. And that's, and that's my baby, and I'm really proud of what Unit 1 Delaware is doing. The other thing that we do have, and I'm going to put this one up, is Delaware Info Now. That's our YouTube page. So if you wanted to hear stuff, especially on the Route 9 corridor or land use issues, land use is now a big thing. We're, a lot of people are now awake about what's happening with land use. Uh, variances for properties, why certain stores are being put into their neighborhoods mm -hmm. and how did that happen? And and if you okay. don't yeah, if you don't know, if you don't know this, every Sunday, please read the back of the news journal into that notice area because that's where a lot of stuff gets put and then you find out about it later that some type of factory is being put in your area. Absolutely, absolutely right. So we have to stay vigilant. We yes. have to stay vigilant yes. on the things that we want, the things that we need, and what is going to en enable us to get further. So one of the things that I stand behind is when Jaquim Muhammad decided to run for state representative and decided to take on some of the things that he wanted to do in the community not only was it just for our community and right there in off of Route 9, but it encompassed all of the communities, all the way to Claymont with the Fight Back Claymont program. So things like that. So get behind them. Let's see what it is that we can do. Let's stand up for ourselves. Let's make our voices heard and, find, and let's find out about things. Let's get educated. More yes. education makes us a more powerful people. And that's, that you're absolutely right, Yolanda. And one thing that we always wanted to say is don't just watch us, join us. You have a, we've had a lot of uh, so-called leaders in our, in our neighborhoods that have let us down for 15 years. We've had some people that have stayed in the organizations and they've only had two or three people. That's not a leadership. And that's not leading anybody. That's leading people down the wrong path. We want real substantial leadership that is quantified, you know what I mean? And uh, that's all we would like to say about the hood, about everybody's neighborhood. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we're just going to recap a couple of things that we talked about today. One of them is which is the new Medicare ID card, which will be coming out here in Delaware starting in May, which is right around the corner, like a week, a week <laughs> from now, <laughs> right. uh, that'll be coming. Then we have the Run for Ages coming up on May 5th with the Wilmington Senior Center. And then we also have our May 3rd Solidarity uh, Ball. Well, the, is the, the Solidarity Ball for CBTU is on May 19th, and that's with CBTU. And May 3rd is our community town hall at the Minkwadel Fire Hall at 129 East Hazeldell Avenue. This, they're going to talk about fiscal year 2019. And it's very important for us to come out and, and show out for those things and speak up. There's too many times in our neighborhoods people don't speak up. They don't talk to me on a, on a bus. Uh, hold on. Before we do that, if you see me riding on the bus, the 13, the 15, the 14, or whatever bus, ask to take a picture. Take a picture with me because we're going to put it on Facebook. So if you see me on the bus, we'll take a picture with me. We'll put it on Facebook with you, all right? <laughs> so we're not going to say that uh, we're leaving you for now, but we will be back the fourth Sunday of the month and that'll be the fourth Sunday of May. We'll be back to speak with you about new things, new ideas and things that we have found, uh, that we have come across and we've explored on the behalf of ourselves and you as our family, our extended family. We would love for you to join us at that time and we'll go over some more things that we've done. 
one of the last things that I did want to talk about, which we forgot, we didn't talk about the DART protests. Oh, well, well, we're, we're still on the DART protest and uh, to bring the buses back to Rodney Square. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep you an update for next month on what's going on with that. But I know next month, I think we're going to have some kettlebells here, and I'm going to have some other stuff. And maybe we'll do a little salsa dancing. We'll show them our salsa dancing. <laughs> you know, Cinco de Mayo, you know, it'll be passed, but, you know, we'll get some of that. Big ups to all of our Latino brothers and sisters in the 16th RD and around Delaware, too. Fantastic, fantastic. So, and we have a lot of health fairs coming up in the next in the next month or two as well. So, big shout out to Henrietta Johnson Medical Center. Yep. I know you have a wellness day coming up in May. Uh, you have you've been great to the community, and we all appreciate you, uh, especially there in our Route Nine corridor. Because in the 16th, that's who that's who we go with is, is Henrietta Johnson, and they're fabulous. And then you're absolutely right. Big shout outs to Neighborhood House. Iris Donato and the staff over at Neighborhood House, big ups to them. I, I really like them. And we can't give we can't forget about Carlos and them at First State Agency at Rose Hill. Carlos and, Mar and Marva. Marva, yeah, that's yes. great, great organization. Yes. So we're gonna start and start wrapping things up here today. So again, my name is Yolanda Muhammad. And I'm Jack Kim Muhammad. And that's Jack Kim Muhammad. <laughs> And uh, we were so glad for you to tune in today with us to our debut show of Real Talk with Yolanda. So I will be bringing you more things, opportunities, and information for the months to come. And stay tuned. Hi, my name is Jaquem Muhammad, and today we have a choice. Either we can stay on the same path that has plagued our communities for years, or we can chart a new path that uplifts everyone. On September 6, 2018, vote for the People's Choice. Jaquim Mohammed, State Representative, 16th District. Thank you. Mm -hmm.